Okay, so let's see if an 1132 rear cassette will run on my Ultegra Di2 short cage without any settings. And to prove I'm not changing any of the settings, this is still my original 1128. I'll run it through the gears. So that's on the bottom one, go up to the top, that's on the top. So there you go, all works. Bring it back down a couple. Now I'll swap this over and we'll see whether it works with the 32 on the back or not. Let's just put this one away. And this is the 1132 on the previous um, video I just did on how to change the cassette. So we will now see whether this works or not. People tell me it will, lots of people tell me it won't. So we're all about to find out. This is as simple and easy as it gets. Okay, so. Alright, so let's start it at the bottom, eh? I've no idea whether this works. So, I'm on a compact crank. So, this is a 50 34. So, I've got a 50 at the top and a 34. And now I'm running a, this is a 10 speed, and this is an 11 32. Okay, and this is a standard. This is the derailleur it came with, the DI2 Ultegra, with a short cage. So I'll put it into the bottom gear now and see. So that's in there. Let's run it up the gears. Oh, I'm now coming up to the, that's on the 28 now. So this is going into the 32. And it does it easy. Yeah, not a problem at all. Let's have a look. See what sort of slack we've got. So still got plenty on the on the chain. No, there's no major tension there. What we've got on the derailleur. So we've got plenty of movement there. And we've got plenty of movement there. So there's heaps of heaps of play for that. That's not a problem at all. And that's running on the 32. So Let's just run them down again. Okay, so we'll pop it into the we'll pop it into the big cog into the 50. That was on the 34. I think if I put it onto the 32 on the, with it being on the front. 50, I think then it will start to make a bit of noise, but we'll give it a go anyway. But I wouldn't run it in that gear anyway, so it wouldn't make any difference to me. So now we're now on the front cog, so let's go into the, and then we'll go up the gears. Now we're on the 28 now. That's on the 28, and that runs fine. So we'll just pop it in and see if it'll go into the 32. Yeah, it goes into it. There's no, definitely, you can see the chain is, yeah. So you wouldn't run it in that gear, because the chain is well and truly bent, I'll show you. You wouldn't run it in this particular gear, if you can see the chain is well and truly at an angle so you know and I can feel it in the in in on the pedal when when I'm spinning it that the chain is well and truly over there so the way you're going to have to run this which I wouldn't run it in that particular gear anyway I'd never never go up in that gear so 
that's not a problem to me. The most I would maybe go to is the is the is two down from this in the front cog. So I would probably be there at the most if I'm in this 50 gear. So to me that runs perfect, and I have, haven't even changed anything. People said, "Oh, you've got to adjust the B screw," but I haven't, I haven't changed a thing. So it seems to be just fine. I think maybe a, let's see what slack we've got on the chain. So there's still plenty there. Yeah. Still plenty of movement backwards. Seems fine. Pop it back down into there. Well, I guess what I'll do now is I'll take it out for a spin, um, find a hill, and we'll see how that 32 goes.